Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to kind of go through the different ways that I use bullet journals. I collect them, to be quite honest, I've got way too many. And the other day I found myself kind of staring over at my stack of journals that I have yet to use trying to think of different ways that I could potentially use them to get them used up. I said used so many times just now. <laughs> um, and I was thinking maybe somebody else might also be wondering um, other ways that they could use their bullet journals if they are like me and have found themselves with a plethora of them. So I've got six journals here that are currently actively being used. Maybe with this one, this green one back here, maybe, maybe not. Kind of, I have used it this year, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the pile of yes, but I don't use it as often as I use some of the others. So I'm gonna go and flip, do like a brief, not like super in-depth, flip through of each of these, but just kind of talk about what I am using each journal for. Um, and we will start maybe smallest to largest. I'm going to stack these right here to the side. So this first little journal that I have is a B6 journal, and I use this as a quote journal. Spoiler alert, none of these are actual bullet journals. Like I'm not using them as like my planner or anything like this. This is all going to be six different ways to use a bullet journal that's not actually bullet journaling. <laughs> so this is a quote journal. I started it in 2022 and I kind of just artistically place quotes in here that I really like um, or that are speaking to me. This one I don't grab a ton, but I like to flip through it and look at the quotes and think of new quotes to add to it. Um, I've actually got a few videos on my channel um, adding to this journal that I posted last year. This next little B6 journal I have is my catch-all journal. I just started this one probably about three weeks ago, I would say, right before I took my work trip, I wanted to bring a journal with me, but I didn't want to bring too much stuff with me. So I decided to start a little catch all journal. Um, so I will do just random journaling in here. If I'm keeping track of anything, I can put that in there. I've got a little headache spread, just little pictures, things that I'm obsessing over how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling any certain way. I was super tired this day. I actually really like the way this spread came out. So, and then videos that I wanna film, any like, so lists, journaling, doodling, anything that's really just going to make me feel better. So this is, I finished listening to this book while I was at work and I carry this one with me all the time because it's so tiny and so easily carried around whereas like some of these larger journals are not especially if you're already carrying so much stuff so I finished this book at work and I bring a few pens with me everywhere I go as well so I just wrote a little bit about it because I was very frustrated with this book and I talked about it in my wrap-up for June mini vacay I think this is the last one that I've got so I, for having started it only a couple of weeks ago, I've got quite a bunch in here. I've really been enjoying working in this little tiny catch-all journal. This next journal is a traveler's sized notebook. These so far, all three have been from Archer and Olive. This green one is the only one that's not from Archer and Olive. It is, uh, I believe, Scribble and Dot and I'll talk more about this particular one when I get to it. But most of my journals are from Archer and Olive. This particular journal, I am planning, I 
quite literally just started it. I just drew this up. I've been, I've had this sitting on my desk for quite a while with this idea. So I wanted to include it in this video. So I went ahead and at least drew my first sketch up. This is going to be a notebook for travelers, notebook layout sketches. So if you watch my channel, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I do little traveler's notebook layouts. So I thought it would be cool to have a little notebook where I keep all of the sketches of the layouts that I complete or sketches for ideas that I might have for layouts to do in the future. And since I've got several traveler's notebook sized notebooks that I haven't found a use for yet, I decided to make one a sketchbook, a sketch notebook. And so this is my first sketch and you will probably see this layout here in the near future because I do really like the way it came out and I think I am going to want to get this added into my traveler's notebooks. All right, moving on. This is my scribble and dot notebook. I got this last year and I use this notebook as a daily journal slash creative journal. So for last year, when I started it, I was doing daily journaling in here. I did notice throughout the, the second half of the year when I started it, I would end up with a lot of blank days um, just for lack of journaling. I did a lot of really fun spreads in here. Um, this could probably be similar to an actual bullet journal, but like I said, I was just using it for journaling, not actually like planning. So for the last half of the second half of 2022, I used it as a daily journal. And then December, I hardly even touched it at all. And then for 2023, I started using it as kind of a creative journal. So a place for me to still do daily journaling, but not in the same way that I was doing it. So these are mostly going to be just spreads for specific days, whichever day that I feel like I need to journal or want to write something. And that is what I was doing in here, using up supplies that I really like that I haven't had a chance to use yet, testing out stamps that I've recently gotten, just creatively expressing myself while also journaling. This particular spread is my favorite, I think, so far in the whole setup. And then creating packing lists, stuff like that. So like a little daily creative journal. And then specifically with this notebook, the reason that I don't use it as often as the other ones is the dots for the dot grid are so incredibly light that I find it very difficult to actually see them. And it makes actually using the journal quite hard for me because I do rely on the dots for the dot grid quite a lot. I like to plan out how I'm going to, you know, do my little sections and it, sh it makes it more difficult when you can't really see the dots that well. Other than that, like this one has like numbers down at the bottom corners. Like I like everything else about it. It's super good quality. The pages are just as thick as the Archer and Olive ones. I just, I don't like the shade of the dots for the dot grid. So another way to use a daily journal is, or a bullet journal is as a daily journal. This particular journal right here, oh, I love it so much. Look at that. It's another Archer and Olive journal. And it, this is my test bullet journal. So if I'm trying to think of things that I wanna do in another bullet journal, or I want to have a reference, um, then I will do those in here. So last year, I filmed this video actually, a reading journal spread ideas video, where I kind of just put a whole bunch of different options for beginning reading journal pages that I wanted to have as a reference that I could go back to and 
copy, for lack of a better term, into a new journal if I'm moving on to another journal and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe not so much a test bullet journal as it is like a reference bullet journal similar to my Traveler's Notebook layout journal that I just made. This is one that I will use to reference back on spreads that I really like to include in a future journal. And then last but not least, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I do keep a reading journal. This is my second year keeping a reading journal. So this is primarily what I use a bullet journal for is my reading journal. I've done a flip through of my journal and I have set up videos for each reading journal spread um, on my channel if you're interested in seeing how these came together or my spreads setups from last year. I have those on my channel as well. Um, I started keeping a reading journal April of 2022 right after I started this channel and I love it. So this is the primary thing that I use my art journal of journals for is keeping a reading journal. Um, and yeah, I really like it. Um, so that is a great option if you are planning to trying to think of some ways really to use up your journals. A couple of other ideas that I have for my reading journals is, or not reading journals, for my bullet journals. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, I want to make a, a recipe journal using the handwritten recipes of my in-laws and then um, translating them to English so that I can reference them and the kids can. And we can have the handwritten version and a kind of creative version of those recipes. I want to use a square bullet journal for that. Um, I was also thinking about starting journals to pass down to my kids. So having like little journals where I just do like little creative pages and write letters to them. Um, I was thinking about using some journals for that. So that's some other ideas, but yeah. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a favorite way that you use your bullet journals that's not actually bullet journaling. Um, yep, yeah. so that is all I've got for y'all today. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. If you've got any ideas that I haven't mentioned for uses of bullet journals, leave them in the comments for me because like I said, I have a lot of journals. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.